Hello captains, welcome back. My name is Adam and in this video we are going to check out a nighttime flight over uh, Birmingham because that's where we did it last time because I've now installed the Stargazer so we should see a difference. We're going to do it at 5 o'clock in the morning. Um, we need clear skies and uh, we don't need to make, we're not going to actually fly it, we're just going to stay on the ground and have a look up. Um, and we should see a difference, we should see what it does to our simulator. It completely takes off the P3D uh, night sky with the stars and it replaces it with an accurately placed uh, star system, but not only just accurately placed, it actually shows the uh, magnitude or brightness level of each star and you can see red stars and blue stars whereas in P3D I believe they're just all the same white colored star. Um, you can even in the manager of the uh, app itself is you can set the uh, the level of, of brightness yourself. So I've set it to 12 which means we see very faint ones here. But we also see these big bright ones here. And if we spin round, these are all accurately placed. So these are constellations you're actually looking at. Um, it's much better than the one that we did before. Now the one we did before, we okay, we saw it actually midnight. So I, I feel that maybe I should go back because this is at five in the morning. We should go back to midnight and actually see what this scenery looks like at the midnight hour like it was in the video before. It's not going to look too different to be honest. Um, it's just going to have a darker sky. But the stars themselves will pretty much be placed exactly the same. Now depending on where you live in the world it's going to look different. So if you live in the northern hemisphere uh, or if you live in the southern hemisphere you're going to see a different night sky. And it's going to be accurate to what you see in your own sky, you know, rather than it just have randomly placed white dots everywhere, which is kind of what the P3D version was. So looking around, it doesn't look too dissimilar um, at this time of night. It's you know, but if we if we spun around in a different spot of the world, you know, we would see something different as well. Um, and that's all it does. I mean, I can actually see a color difference between all of these stars. I swear I can see a green as well, but um, if I was to uninstall this, uh, or if you check out the video previous to this, you will see a completely different looking sim, and this is what it looks like actually, with, um, and we've got our lights working this time, um, this is what it looks like in the sim, in the plane, um, and I think that that's a lot better than what it looks like before. Could, there's a lot more fainter ones and does it affect our frames well not really we had in Birmingham we had about 35 frames anyway so it actually uh, you know again I've now got about 40 frames in Birmingham um, I think the, in Africa my frames will go up to like a hundred or something silly so that's that's the only thing the only the only other thing that I have installed into uh, my sim is uh, P, uh, FPX, the Professional Flight Planner X. That's the only other thing that I've installed. Um, the next thing I'm going to install is FS to Crew Pro, the RAAS, and Rex Airports HD. So in fact, let's go fly a quick flight from an airport that uh, is the default actually, which was Eglin, wasn't it? Eglin is the default airport that you take off from. Um, there it is in Florida. It's a small airport. It's not exactly massive. So um, we'll take it back to 10 o'clock like it's always been. Um, fair weather. Fly on our plane. I should have really checked all the controls to make sure they're working because we've, we've, we've had problems in the past. Um, I think I'll check that just before I take off. And we'll just have a look at the two 
main airports that we both take off from and land at and then we'll go to DFW and we'll have a look at what that airport looks like because when I install the Rex Airports HD they're gonna look a lot different so I mean here you can see they look fine they look yeah they look quite good there's nothing wrong with them you know so let me make sure our controls are working the way they should so our axis Y that's good quadrant is good quadrant is good and rudder is good we're good to go right then let's oh hello this looks different the uh, the simulators ooh, looks a bit weird so obviously it's the time of day to be fair um, but it does look a bit the texturing does look a little bit funkier to be fair. Right, break off. Let's get this mother going. So the airport here looks rather just standard bomb, really. Nothing uh, screaming out about it. Can we turn the lights on something here. Slow navigation picked up down. They're all off. Really weird that console does. Right, take off. In fact, it's because the lights are on. That's why it's got it's loaded the nighttime textures for the plane um, in in the cockpit. That's why they it looks funky. Right, flaps up. Flaps up. Is there a way to turn that off? Way to turn these lights off in here. Should we just knock out the? Uh, what, if, what happens if we knock out the actual? I don't know. I don't know how to turn these lights off. To be honest, I'm out. I don't know. Anyway, I'm boring. Um, are we going the right way? No, it's put us again the other way around to the sim. Our runway is over there. So, looking at the ground texture here as well, it'll be interesting to see in the next video if Rex Airports HD changes that texture or if uh, it keeps it the same. Because it will change the um, the the look of the buildings. We will see a difference there. Quite interesting to see how it if, it if it changes anything else. So, um, for those of you who have joined us just for the first time, because um, you're in interested in Stargazer, uh, this is a series of videos where I've gone. Um, and I, I had a bit of trouble. I had 4.2 and I was having a few glitches and I think it was because my computer, which is a uh, Chill Blast Nimbus 3, really good for flight simulation. I think it, I had added and taken away so many add-ons that um, it was like, you know what, I just need to uh, start again. Um, and so literally I... Um, deleted everything, got rid of everything, and uh, I got rid of everything, and I um, basically formatted the drive, and put all my settings from the PC back to normal, and reinstalled everything, really, reinstalled the P3D, updated it to 4.3 and then slowly thought to myself well hang on this will be an interesting time to see um, what P3D on its own looks like without any add-ons um, now the 
was already a video on my channel that showed you what my simulator looked like before everything changed. Um, check out that, that's like the video zero basically. Um, and, it, and it just shows you what I flew and what the world looked like, you know. Right, let's land this puppy. And, um, and slowly I just basically went through um, each add-on and, and adding it in. So, so far I've added in a payware plane, which is this one, the Seagull 52. I've added in a chase plane, the camera system. I need to get down. Um, I added in FS Global Ultimate. I added in PTA Assistant plus some shaders from other people. I added in... What else did I add in? Um, Stargazer most recently, which is why I'm making this video. Um, and the next thing I'll be adding in on the next video is RAAS FS to crew and Rex Airports HD, which is why we're doing this flight and we're waiting by. Um, let's get the... Let's get the So, it's going to progress, it's going to continue to go on um, and, and, and take shape. It's really going to make a difference. After Rex, I'm going to introduce Orbex, and that's really going to change the look of the sim, really, honestly. It's, uh, that's going to be crazy, really. So, when I do that... really going to be able to see a difference here, which, I don't know why we're not landing this plane for some reason, we're way too high, but it don't matter because it's only a, just a stage of flaps here, although we're slightly off the runway here, I mean, I need to get the second exit actually, so I'm just going to land this thing, probably going to crash it, yep, that was a waste of time. I do have crash settings on as well, so, yeah. And now we're in a jet. Well, there you go. Sometimes you win some, you lose some. Okay, well, we saw what the airport looked like when we took off. Um, we're going to go to DFW now. Um, we missed, I've missed our opportunity to see what this airport looked like when we landed. And for some reason, it's loading in uh, a new setup. <laughs> so, we're going to go to DFW and see what the default airport looks like. We don't really even need to take off, to be honest. In fact, we will stay in uh, this plane. We don't even need to change the plane. DFW. KDFW. Dallas Fort Worth. Load that up. So here we can pretty much see that it's quite detailed already. Um, it's all looking pretty snazzy. Um, I haven't set chase plane up with the camera system for this um, for this. Uh, I mean, my microphone's playing up here for this airplane. So we're just gonna have to make do with what we've got. Um, but yeah, the default, actually we'll need to take off, won't we, to see what it looks like. Right, in that case, I need to put this back to 35 and zoom in a little bit. There we go. There we go. Okay, let's, uh, let's get this mother off the ground. These things move. So here's uh, DFW, looking pretty good. Uh, let's uh, turn it around and we'll slow it down. So 
the airport, you know, this is just the default DFW airport that came with the simulator. Um, the buildings, I mean, look, they're just regular. fighter jet pilot by the way. Let's uh a bit. This is what we're doing. Here we go. Coming in. So yeah, you can really get a sense of the uh way really get a sense of it here. So it, to be honest, this is a good representation of DFW, even if it is just default P3D. Um, but I'm going to put in Rex Airports HD now, so it's going to completely replace this, and it's going to look a lot different. Um, and be quite interesting to see what it looks like. The Delta building there will look different, and uh, we'll come back when it all does. So, that's the end of this video. Um, we will be back with new airports and FS to Crew Pro installed on as well. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.